Hi, I'm Siddharth from Team Digit and this is the DSK Yosung Akila 250. It's the new V-Twin cruiser bike launched by Yosung in collaboration with DSK and you might have seen it unveiled in the 2014 Auto Expo recently. We've got the bike with us and we'll do a quick hands-on review for it. If the name Akila or the look of this bike seems familiar, it's probably because of two reasons. One is, a long time ago, a bike with the same name was indeed launched in India and this was with Kinetic. The collaboration was with Kinetic. This one is a DSK Yosa. The Kinetic Akila was the same kind of bike except uh, on this one you have a fuel injected engine. Other than that, the styling was pretty much the same. The other reason the look of this bike might be familiar to you is because the elder sibling of this bike, the GV650, was reviewed by us some time ago and it's been in the market for some time, you might have seen it. So let's talk about this bike, the Aquila 250. Let's talk about the design first, this is a cruiser style bike and to add to it, it's a classic style cruiser. So to give it this classic look, they have two nice big chunky dials in the gadget cluster up front. One is an analog speedometer and the other is an analog taco. And to give it a nice uh, modern feel or touch, they have included a nice L LCD odometer as well and that gives you a fuel gauge. You have a V-Twin here, it produces 26.5 PS at uh, RPM of about 9500. Here you have a 5-speed transmission and apart from that, the looks of this bike are very very classic cruiser. You have a teardrop shaped tank, you have this nice big BFG style exhaust. Now this exhaust was seen on the GV650 as well, it was very similar. Other than that, you have a lot of chroming, it's lavishly chromed all over and that's something that we always like. One important point about this bike is that nowhere, nowhere on the body do you find the 250 moniker mentioned. So in effect what happens is that the bike seems or feels rather more expensive than it actually is. You can never guess whether this is a GV650 or it's indeed a Aquila 250. So that's it, that's it for the design. Let's, let's find out how this bike performs. I'm going to take it out on the road and tell you about the handling and performance. Okay, so first things first, it's not really a zippy ride, but then again, it's not meant to be. The engine response in the mid-range is enough to keep up with whatever stop-and-go traffic you might encounter on the highway. But given an open road, you can slowly take it up to 130 km per hour. At least that's what I did. But at that speed, you can't ignore the vibrations it produces. I'd say the bike is most comfortable in the 80 to 100 km per hour range. When testing the GV650, the more beefier version of this bike, I didn't really bother keeping an eye on the fuel efficiency because at that engine capacity, the usual question of kitna deti hai didn't really matter. But with the 250cc engine, fuel efficiency suddenly became so much more important. So based on my Pune Mumbai trip and a few back of the envelope calculations, I can peg the mileage at a little below 30 km per litre. When it comes to handling, I found the GV250 to be a much more manageable bike than its chunkier, bigger sibling. The turning radius is impressive, you won't break a sweat pulling it out of parking and I even managed some tricky bends. The suspension was a slight disappointment though. Any typical Indian pothole can almost knock the wind out of you if you're not careful. The low saddle height, forward set, foot pegs and the wide handlebars that sweep back towards you make for a very laid back riding posture. The bike is small enough for a person of small stature to easily manage as is evident plainly from the video. So what's the final verdict? At a price of about 3.10 lakhs on road, it's not a purchase you'll make on a whim. But it is however the most affordable V-Twin cruiser you can buy in the Indian market today. So that's it for our review of the Yosung Aquila 250. Please do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.